All right, welcome back to Suck on an Island where I'm stuck with you guys and we're always smiling. So, uh, first off, how was my night? Last night was super hot sleeping in the van. It usually isn't. Um, I probably have to just crack the window a little bit more, but in Jamaica right now, it's just a massive heat wave and I suspect all over the world as well. Now, um, right now, I'm on the bad parts of the roads now. And speaking of roads, I find that people sometimes might say that they want more detailed locations to where the restaurants that I go to are. For those who don't know, in the description box of every video, I leave the Google Map pin. So once you click on that Google Map pin, your Google Map should open and you'll find the exact location to these places. The reason why I do it, sometimes I think on the last two videos, I went to a spot where really there isn't a defined address basically. Some people just set up a little stall right on the roadside and I'll drop a map in so it's a lot easier to find. And then secondly, probably a year later after watching the video, instead of having to go back into the video to get the location, you can just click the description, find it, and you can get there. Now, um, I was supposed to stop at this place this morning, but unfortunately, um, it no longer exists. So that's one of the tough things about owning a business or a restaurant, because I heard the food was good there, but for some reason, it doesn't exist anymore. So I am going to go to plan B, this place called um, Woody's Burgers. So hopefully um, when I get there, it's still in operation and um, we can get some food. I'm not so hungry right now because uh, I just had some um, breakfast. So I got up from seven. I left out at like 8.40 and um, yeah, had some breakfast. And now we are, like I said, on the bad roads of Portland. Yeah, Mr. Government, we need to fix this ASAP. Wow. So it's kind of funny. Um, just now, I went over there and there was like a ghost town, like nothing was happening. Um, checked Google Maps and it said it's supposed to be open and I asked the guy that was in the wholesale here and um, he basically said that they open whenever they feel like it. So yeah, I don't know. I don't think I can really openly suggest that place. Um, I called as well, didn't get any answer. So there's that. Um, I'll keep uh, progressing on this road though and um, see I know that Frenchman Cove is close by There's a lady that I saw selling some stuff there like months ago that I wanted to um, check out so yeah I don't know where I'm gonna find street food today, but yeah, we go with the flow and we'll see what will happen Alright, so you know, I always have contingency plans. Like, there is another stop that I wanted to check out, which is called uh, Paulette's Cook Shop. So, I just went up there just now. But, like some of the places, you know, the, the space is very small, and yes, I'm not gonna get to film inside of there. Um, but, lunch should be ready, she said, at um, 12 o'clock. It's 10 30 right now. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna order some oxtail, but in the meantime, I'm going to head down to Frenchman's Cove, and yeah, we're just gonna lime a little bit, just lay down, take in some shade, because you know that word, and um, yeah, wait until it's 12 o'clock. Now, one thing to note and to remember, guys, um, whenever you're watching these videos, take a close look on the dates that I went to these places because sometimes these places can close down or there could be a change in the, the chef or whatever the case is so make sure that you guys call in once you click that Google map pin usually their numbers are connected call in confirm that yes they're still open and then feel free to uh, make your way down there so um, there's that anyway I'll meet you guys at Frenchman's
right, so we're at Frenchman's right now. I'm just gonna enjoy the beach. I don't know, we have a GG's in the back. So a pure vibes. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna chill here probably like the next two hours and I'll head in for lunch at like one o'clock. Beach here today is just amazing. The last time we were here, it was rough and rocky, but today it's just a good, good day for just vibe. And just, um, yeah, all our meds. All right, guys, so we are now at Miss Paulette's cook shop. And let me just say, it was super hard to leave the beach. That's for one. And then to also leave the AC, well, Jamaica is super hot. But if I can explain what here looks like, it is uh, pretty much just like most rural places or most rural cook shops. It's made out of plyboard and um, lumber. And yeah, it's bright yellow, super colorful and stuff. There's chickens running around. You can definitely find one or two mongrels. And um, yeah, that's basically that so we go get our food shared out and stuff and the funny thing is it is miss paulette's son who is the chef here and she said she's one of the best that is around here right now so we're not get my food and no box is in me we try to get food and like a plate so we can feel like our grandmother served even though as a young youth i serve the food and we can see if the food is going to taste just as good or even better so this is what it looks like guys coming to a Jamaican cook shop. You know the thing set already. That's my food there, Miss Paulette. Yes, sir. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And we have a chef here. What's the chef name again? Devante. Devante. Yeah. So yeah. You are around the place I know, yeah? Oh. Took over from mom. Yeah, yeah. Basically. New generation. New generation <laughs> thing. They <laughs> <laughs> say it does have us laugh, no. <laughs> Yo, there is something about these shops that I just absolutely love. It's yeah, it just feared very homely, very humble, and just an absolute vibe. So you know, a little um, table and chair here that I'm gonna sit at and just have my food and thing, and I'll tell you guys exactly how it is. Guys, if I ever tell you how long I haven't seen one of these food covers, <laughs> Mommy tell you, I feel like I got right back on my granny yard. So, we have here some, uh, this is probably the most expensive meat kind in the island and a lot of places, which is oxtail. So we have some oxtail, some rice and peas, and um, it seems like pasta, and um, some raw sliced tomato. So we're gonna try that right now. You see me? You know, oxtail gravy is super important. Ooh. Immediately you're hit with that spice. Mm -hmm. The rice on peas is nice. Very nice rice on peas. It's like a real crunchy pepper. Crunchy pepper, don't? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Real crunchy cashmere pepper. It's a different type of pepper. It's spicy, but it has a nice amount of flavor to it. It's not bitter. I know, so I blend up seasoning too. You blend up seasoning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So something that they mentioned to me when I was talking to her, and that's his mom. She was saying that um, they don't really use a lot of these, the packet seasonings. It's just natural herbs. You know, thyme, scallion, scotch bunny pepper, ginger, stuff like that. They use. I'm certain if they have to put a little packet or something somewhere then, yeah? But um, little, Maggie. little Maggie here or there. You know, but the main ingredient is the herbs and spices. The meat. For some people, it depends on what you like. This meat has some bite to it, so it's not over pressured. 
you know, so it's not too soft, it's not too tough. You get a nice little gaminess to it because it is the tail of the, the cow. And um, yeah. I could talk price point. How much do I play it like this? Alright, now you said it in like a turbo box. Mm -hmm. So, that's the one like eight or seven. So, this, my plate will have been how much? About, about a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars, that's not bad. But it, it actually is like, it's very like one thousand five mm -hmm. a pound. I know it's expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this pasta. Yeah. It's um it's al dente. And the tomato upon it creamy. Good. Different taste. Yeah. I mean, I'm about, you know, taste as good in Like on the grill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But why oxtail though? Hmm? I mean, a place like this, it's small. Oxtail is so expensive, our meat. Like, are you able to sell off everything in a day? Yeah. Mm. Uh, you see, like fried chicken now? Mm -hmm. Tired of fried chicken. Tired of your chicken. I was jerk almost every day. Okay. Yeah. So this restaurant, this restaurant, this other restaurant. We put the curry goat as well. Yeah, we put curry goat, everybody. Everybody want curry I hear it's really good. Yeah, yeah. We do curry goat. Let me try to do like everything. Because, you know, like, do fried chicken. It's fried chicken with it, 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 it flies in. You know, curry, jerk chicken, more, we do fish. We do, uh, I had a day, we do curry, curry, pork. Mm -hmm. yeah, I really appreciate that, that you guys did this because like you said we did the fried chicken after a while. Yeah. Same thing really, every day. Yeah, same. Okay. So then get the fried chicken and some oxtail gravy. You touch the gravy? No. <laughs> Awesome, yeah. I know some people that do, you know. Yeah, they're not mm -hmm. letting them out in my water. I want to even see them with the curry goat. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some people like, they can buy the, the full price. So you just make like with the small box. Mm -hmm. Then you have a small curry goat. And yeah. yeah. So we have small food, maybe. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you try to make as much money as you yeah, possibly yeah, yeah. can and everybody get a chance to try the food. Yeah. Um, so make sure it makes sense. Oh. Now what I like personally, I mean yeah you can serve food in a in a coffin box or boxes like that. But food of this quality that tastes like home cooking, yeah. it deserves a plate. If you get on my say like once you go in a plate to just seal the deal. I mean yeah. if you have a take home, take home no problem. But I really appreciate being able to come here, sit down, have a little plate, uh, okay. and just and eat yeah. the food. Sometimes come, come and buy more like more white plate. Mm -hmm. and sometimes people come here and they stay. I will just have enough you know, like three of them and have enough plate. plates. I will have to give them a box. I just look more better than I think for Yeah. All right, then finally, allow me into the yeah. glorious kitchen here. So we're yeah. here with Devante. Devante. Deva Devante, I you know you never ask a man the age, you know, but how old is that? 21. 21. This is, yeah. a, this is a young cat, yo. Yeah. So the business is called. Parlet Cook Shop. Parlet Cook Shop, right? Yeah. But you are the man now who's taking it over from your mother. Yeah. 
So we've been talking like before, just off camera. Yeah. I just said you used to burn up rice. Yeah, man. I know today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, <laughs> I had a very, very good rise and peace. Yeah. Like, how, like, what did you do to get it to this point now? Alright, whole path over, try, try again, over and over and over until one day, you know, season party right away. I miss her, I eat that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on. I even eat jerk chicken. Uh -huh. Nah, the bunny, whole path jerk chicken, bunny. Until I say, I jerk it good now, everybody love it. Nice. Come on, so everything. So I love that you're able to admit failure because you seen at one point you felt like yeah, the cooking was not for yeah, you. Yeah, one time I stopped and tried to find something else. Okay. I said, this is not for me. But then you mentioned that mention that your mom, who is there, she's hiding. <laughs> she, yeah, she's the one that kind of, you know, you see how she do her thing and yeah. operate the business. Alright, so we're talking about like the hardships of doing the business on your own. Yeah. You know, like, what were they and how did you overcome them? It's hard for overcoming you know, like for you wake up early. Mm -hmm. Prep. One time I alone like wake up, prep your chicken, coconut for bus, grater one time, we don't have a blender with a grater. Mm -hmm. Very hard. We like cut up your chicken, season up your chicken, blend up your season, bossy coconut and uh, it very 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 hard. So this is a very young business because I, I yeah. came here a couple months ago, site on Google. Yeah. And then um, now I'm finally here. How old is the business? One year, one year and a couple months. One year but, and a couple months. But before we were at the shop, okay. we were behind like the kitchen behind the shop. Mm -hmm. We were in there, and it was was very slow. So yeah. you find that coming out front kind of yeah, opened up. Yeah, and and we, we come here December last year, December, December twenty six, and we open. Everybody does. Everything does explode. Yeah. Nice. So just take a couple steps and it, it changed. Because you now you are literally on this like more of a street food yeah, stop yeah. now. People can you're on this yeah. road. And side people now. people were complaining they didn't want to walk. Up the hill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was they they don't want to walk. Gotcha. Mm. Tell me about your kitchen. So I come here so now and I see you have some nutmeg yeah. and the mace is still on it and some onions and whatever. The yeah. spices, how how um, my spice now pepper. Pepper is the main ingredient. Mm -hmm. Pimenta, onion, scallion, thyme, garlic, ginger. And yeah, man, look at maggi season, jerk season. And yeah, man, so season. that make my season blend. And that season blend go on everything. Cool. Yeah, go in the rice, go in chicken, everything. Wow. Yeah. And they I always ask this question: What is like the hot seller, the thing where without a doubt people like crave? And I'm talking like the people who are in the community right, and know about it. You see when I cook like curry goat, everybody. That is it? They want the curry goat, they want, peas. yeah. Stew peas, they like the stew peas as well. Yeah. Are you teaching me to make the stew peas? <laughs> yeah, I, I try to teach him um, a little. I listen to how to make this. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, for sure. Who will make him and who also make him into a better chef as well. You know, so, yeah, you show him how to make this. Me, but he, he, he created more than me. You understand? Like, she teaches me how to make the gravy, cook the rice, mm -hmm. and yeah, that's it. Everything else, yeah, like, I yeah, man, you try be, and try. He's very creative. Yeah. He's very creative. I get an idea with the goosebumps, and I'll tell you why. I like the dynamic because I find that sometimes parents, because yeah. they're the parent, they feel like their way only and them know yeah. everything. But oh, I, I, what yeah. I'm getting is that she understands that you are the next generation now yeah. and she allow you to kind of blossom into who yeah. you, you know? Yeah, because I make sure most things like how we fried chicken and what we put on it to make it look good. And, and she worked with it too. Yeah, she worked with it. Yeah. Nice. She's a, I, I would be there in love with and I would, I would, I would be there and eat. Well, I would then taste good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool, cool. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I know people um, probably ask about that. I noticed you never put beans in the oxtail. Is there a reason for that? You said beans in there? It's in there? Yeah. Oh, I, 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 I yeah, probably missed broad, that. Broad beans, yeah. Broad yeah, beans, yeah. okay. Um, you mentioned that your hot seller is um, the, the goat. Pork, but pork, you pork. also mentioned the. What's it called again? Like Stupies? Yeah. No, no, no. A, uh, brown to chicken. Baked chicken. Baked chicken. Baked chicken. Yeah. And how you do that? Alright, baked chicken now. Like, it's a different opposite. Like, some time I put it on the grill mm -hmm. and cook it like 
almost done. Carry to the grill. We want to see. We want to see. We don't. We didn't have corn. I like to do the punishment. All right. <laughs> <laughs> No, you have a light, man. We just we want. We normally put it in that that will bake it. Put that on the grill. So the baking sheet there, yeah. yeah. And and then you use your grill pan and put it together. What yeah. what inspired that though? Like what inspired? We we didn't have an oven. Yeah, we didn't have an oven, so we, and we don't want to bake chicken. So I said, all right. Oh. I said this can you use the oven. So now we can heat, so now we just put the baking pan in pan on the grill, then close the grill, we make a sauce, the secret sauce, mm -hmm. put the pan chicken in, cover it, and then that's it. And when it finished now, we just make this a fall off the bone and add that to that everybody like. That's it, that creative. So yeah. you realize you never had something and yeah, then just... Yeah, yeah. And then when we, when we get the oven now, the oven, you know, do it as good as this. So at this I... That this smoky was. flavor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so carry carry through the the kitchen now. Like, what made you guys move from the back? Just because you wanted more space, or yeah, like when we were up there, we didn't get that much. Everything was slow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we moved down here now. Like people are drive past and they see it and they don't stop. And people people like don't get some more. I don't get some more cooler. Yeah, up there was. I'm not gonna lie, your name make me hungry. When I see, when I see Paulette's cook yeah. shop, I <laughs> <and laughs> you, you know, say, I, like, I was the one who chose to use her name because I use my name, you know. Yeah. I mean, I say, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, yeah. said they come from Paulette. Yeah. So I say, no, I stay with fear and then Paulette's cook shop, and that, that, that's what it is. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Alright, show we, show we, like, the workings of how you guys operate. How would I say this? I'm more like a traditional kitchen. Yeah. So we have a regular, like a, it's not an industrial stove. Yeah, you can call it a stainless steel. Stainless steel. Yeah. Liquid oven. Liquid oven and thing. And you make, and like how many dishes like you, you produce per day? Like Some more time three, some more time four. Yeah. And you're able to do it on just the, the one stove. Yeah, and we have cold pot as well. Yeah. Okay, so you use a cold pot yeah, as well to make it work. Now I cook rice and the cold pot, but the cold finish. So we do it on the stove. Got you. Yeah. Got you. Wow. Mm. Yeah, definitely, definitely a very nice at the kitchen here. You mentioned that you want to eventually get like a bigger deep freeze. Yeah, yeah, bigger deep fry, bigger fridge, more space. Cool. Yeah. So apart from good food, why should people come to Farlet's cook shop? Like, nice space. You can come enjoy yourself and. You know, have a nice time. Definitely. Yeah. All right, for travelers who are seeking more than just food, like what around here, like what attraction? All you right, do? if you come to Drapers, we have Sanka Bay. Sanka we have Bay. Our, yeah, like a beach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and up right up the sand, and you can go to Santa as well. Mm -hmm. We have Blue Lagoon. Mm -hmm. Famous, everybody like want to go to Blue Lagoon. Lagoon. Drapers is a very nice place, peaceful. Yeah. I noticed that. Yeah. yeah. What is Drapers known for though? Is there anything like any food that you grow mm. or Drapers or any person? Or any type of cooking style? I find that in Poland there's a lot of, I get a lot of uh, corn pork and ackee. Yeah. I've seen Drapers, that a lot. You know. Drapers, you know, always sunny. People love, you have, you have beach, I beat them jetty, but they're closed, but people used to love, like over there, mm -hmm. cold water. Cold water. Yeah, very ice, ice cold water coming out of a, a spring. Yeah, people used to go over there a lot. Wow, never heard over there. Yeah, and actually, out. they flame a uh, John flame of John. Um, James Bond. James Bond flame over there. Yeah. Yeah. James Bond love Portland. Yeah. <laughs> and Portland is also famous for uh, the place in my G Jam. G Jam, yeah. yeah. Nice. Wow. Well, Devante, I appreciate you showing me in, yeah. or showing us inside the kitchen and how you guys make the food yeah. you know happen and today's dish was very 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 delicious yeah and we can't yeah my sister i love your pepper yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's my kind of cut down my, my kind of cut down yeah yeah the nice 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 um oxtail today and what is yeah. you had on the menu fried chicken fried chicken so oxtail and fried chicken yeah. tomorrow what would you have tomorrow well i just two beef 
still be. So yeah. anybody that comes every other day, you know, fried chicken will definitely be here. Definitely be here. But then you're creative, you add yeah. different Jerry things. Jerk chicken, fried chicken, oxtail, stew beef. You rave pork. about the curry goat. When is curry goat available? When them can get that? We do it like like we do it yesterday. Mm -hmm. So we'll do something different tomorrow now and then the other day curry goat again. Alright. Yeah. Awesome. Alright Devante. Vibes, thank you so much for All having right. me. Yeah. And you can follow me on Instagram, Devante underscore stone life. And what the the number for here if they want to call him? 320-7787. Vibes. Alright guys, so that was a nice little vibe. We sat and we chat for a little bit, you know, just the you know, just life, um, you know, where we came from and the stuff like that. Got a bunch of jokes, but you don't know the things that you can't quite film every single thing. Um, so what's the move right now? I have no clue. I'm gonna try to find somewhere that we can uh, camp out for the night and then you know make some plans to find a, another restaurant um for those again who want to find these places the link will be in the description box but the general location is in portland and it's in an area called drapers um it's a nice little yellow building um yeah you just kind of have to look off to it but i will give you the exact google map pin so you guys can find it and then you can go check it out and see what's up and i'll have the number there so you guys can call them and see what is on the menu for today all right if i find anything interesting i'll come back and show it to you guys but i'm gonna find somewhere to sleep and in the morning i'll show you guys where that is remember these two things love nature and adaptation this adventure has been amazing so always remember to keep the link